This is John with Hurricane Jiu Jitsu. This is Mark. We're going to show a little triangle choke. Come on down. <laughs> All right. No, no. Check it out. So, Mark has control of my upper body, my pants. I'm going to go for a triangle choke. So, I'm going to take my fingers, I'm going to make a cuff, take my thumb out. Good, same side grip. This hand, I'm going to come across, go deep inside the lapel. So, if I put my right hand in the lapel, I'm going to put my right foot on the hip. If I put my right foot on the hip, I slide my hip to the right. Now, small detail, this foot, I like to move it from hanging off the hip, directly onto the hip. Helps with the end of the technique. So now look, I'm going to bring my right shin across and parallel with the floor. My right knee is touching the right side of Mark's chest, and then the bottom part of my shin, the sharp part of my shin, is resting on his arm where his bicep and forearm meet. Perfectly across his chest. Now, I want to make this pressure as uniform as possible. I'm going to pull with the sleeve and the lapel, and then I'm going to push with the shin. I'm going to break any grip that he might have on my jacket, on my belt, and I'm going to isolate that arm. So pull and push. Now, I hook my right foot around the outside of his arm. A bunch of things happen at once. I'm going to draw his upper body in, especially his arm. I'm going to allow my leg to slide over the shoulder, flush with the neck. And then this foot that I moved to the hip earlier, I'm going to allow that to move my body flat onto my back, all the way perpendicular with him, almost onto my other hip. I've drawn his arm deep across the body. My right hand is still inside the lapel. Now, I'm going to let that hand go. I'm going to pass his arm as deep across as I can. I'm going to tuck my right elbow tight to my ribs. You'll notice that my right leg is flexing tight. I've got a real nice hook up top here for my triangle to lock. So I'm going to let go of the wrist. I'm going to grab my shin close to the head, and I'm going to finish sliding my perpendicular angle. I can use the floor, or I can use the hip. doesn't matter. Slide. Lock. And when I go to finish this, I'm going to pull my shin, I'm going to raise my hip, I'm going to squeeze my knees together, and I'm going to pin my left heel down to the floor. Now, if I, if I go for this triangle, one, two, three, I slide out foot on the hip, I break the grip. Now, I lock my triangle, but somewhere in here, he starts to stack me, okay? So look, the same side that I have the leg across his neck, I want to think of putting that ear as close to my right shoulder as possible. So look, right leg across the neck, right ear to the right shoulder. That's going to take all the pressure off of my spine and my neck, and it's going to direct it onto my left shoulder. Then I'm going to take my right hand, and I'm going to hook under his leg. So as he pushes forward, I move my head, I pull the leg. Go ahead and let yourself fall. Okay? And he's going to roll. Now, sometimes, depending on how the person rolls, you can roll into a mounted triangle. In this situation, I've rolled in a way that my leg is not allowing me to finish. But that's fine. I'm going to continue holding this leg. I'm going to control this arm. I'm going to pass this leg over his head, cross my feet, squeeze my knees. I'm going to finish the arm lock. One more time.